Hey, welcome back to Lame Chop Builds. How is everyone doing today? It's a Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Been a, been away from my desk a little bit lately. My daughter's graduation party was yesterday, so a good bit of the week was getting everything together for that. It's a good time. Good time yesterday. But I have had a little bit of time on the on the bench here at the bench. We're going to kind of go what I've done. Dechromed a good bit of the uh, stuff for the GTO. Now, I believe I showed this. This is my first time using nail polish. I think I talked about this already. Painting the GTO. It's coming along. I'm going to probably clear it today with the, uh, the real colors. Super gloss. Try that out. Where am I at here? Let me clean that up right now. So I bought some embossing powder today. I bought black, white, and iridescent purple to do some stuff. I'm order some more colors, I think. So this is my first time using embossing powder on the uh the interior of the GTO. Not bad. Looks like carpet. I need probably mask off a little more next time. I did mask off where the seats are going to go so they would so I could get them to glue down properly. So working on them later. So we'll see how that turns out. Looks it's doing okay. Worked on assembling the engine some more. And I got to thinking of the song by uh, uh, Ronnie and the Daytonas, uh, GTO. And I had the uh, six-pack set up from the Challenger. It was in the intake, so I kind of made it fit this Pontiac engine. You know, I painted it Chrysler red. And I, was, I cut off the starter and the oil filter because I was going to use the Chevelle headers. But they... Just a little too big to get them to fit nicely. I probably could do it, modify them, cut them a little. But I'm just, I'm just going to go with the stock ones, I believe. I've already been working on them too, so I'll probably go with those. I got three deuces, and this is a four speed, I'm going to say. So uh, I painted these the same gray I used on the wheels for the Challenger. So it looks a little different. It looks interesting, I guess. That's gunmetal on the intake. Still's a little more touch up. And I was trying to get the motor set in the chassis good. And I realized it wasn't really going to fit real nice. And so I took and drilled a, a hole here. And drilled the same size hole in the engine block. And this is starting to be something that kind of works good. And I have some tubing. Aluminum tubing right here. I can just put it in through there, put it in there, and it's going to help, help hold that engine right in place where we need it. Keeps it lined up too. Once it's glued in, good. So I'm going to work on getting this painted. You might see these little marked little pieces of out tubing there. Well, I, was, I wanted, went with the, the lifted look. Raising the rear of the, the body up a little more on this. Couldn't get anything to fit right doing that. So I just shaved down the little nubs on there a little bit to get the uh, tubing on. I drilled my holes in there and used the uh, tubing and some super glue there to get everything lined up. Then I had to block it out a little bit for it to sit right and then got the shocks in. <clears throat> so this will be get painted soon. Coming along, I was going to lower the body, lift it in, but then I changed my mind on that. After looking how high it was, like this, I'm never going to get a, a tire under it. So, doing that, worked on the grill some. I'm going to show this. This is the chrome pieces I'm using. I got another piece here to show too. pedal. I use the 
blue nail. I think I covered this. I can't remember. The blue nail polish inside the foot gas pedal. So I'm going to use that. I accented the uh, center console with the blue. Then inside the wheels, lug nuts are per uh, black. And then uh, the center caps are uh, same blue nail polish. And I noticed on these, and I've seen different video, different pictures on the, the YouTube there, or the internet, the internet. There's the wheels. There are two different style of wheels. Some people have two of the same in the front. Some put one. Uh, they're different. So if you know on the fins, if they're touching this, this center ring, where those go, or where the ones that don't touch, you know, because it's hard telling if they're, they're, they're the same depth. So it's just confusing. Why didn't they just make them all the same? I've seen, you know, some people have both of these on both, like not touching on the one side and touching on the other. So if you know, but you all, by all means, let me know. You know, because there's a, a big, uh, not a gap, but there's a gap touching the fin, then it touches the trim, the little ring here, the, the fin. So I want to make sure I'm doing that right. I'm going to think the ones not touching are for the rear and the ones where it's real tight is the fronts, but yeah, I don't know. It's got me confused. And after seeing different people doing it different ways, I know I can do what I want, but I want to be kind of correct. I dechromed some of the other chrome parts and this is the shifter out of the Chevelle. I'm going to paint that up and use it. I was going to use the standard straight one here that came with the GTO kit. I'm just going to, I'm going to switch that up a little bit. I think I'll look nicer in there. Yeah. It's angled back more using the straight one here. It's straight up and down. You just, to me, that don't, that ain't looking right. Let's stick straight up. And so, I'm going to go with the one with the boot on it. It's my car. I'm doing what I want. I'm going to angle that forward where it looks like it's up in like first or third gear there. What else? The grill. Let's go with the grill. All right. After some uh, some technical difficulties there. Or was my microphone quit working. So we're going to talk about the grill again. Where are we at now? I got to find it. Well, I uh, set it aside here. Why does that always happen to me? I set something down. It can't go too far. There it is. Got it where I left it. So, find the piece. I, I cut the grill up. I was trying to sand it nice and smooth to where I could leave the like the, the webbing from the plastic in there and it got too thin and brittle. This is from one to the other side, I'm cutting it out. I won't have the GTO on the grill, but here we are. Use a metal window screen in the grill here. Glued in from the back. I was able to get the headlights cut out and get them in. So it's gonna look pretty good. I'm gonna mat the all the whole assembly here, mat it down later, then go with uh, gloss in the lights with some uh, Duracl Duraclear or something, give it a little different look, better, more original or real look. And then on this grill, I had a set uh, years ago. I had a '72, not years ago, a few years ago, '72 Pontiac Le Mans. I was working on, and I'd done a little bit to it, and I took the grills out of it and painted the. The inside silver grayish. So I've done the same thing to here, you know, using, using the black net uh, screen gives it a little different look. I was going to do the uh, when I had opened. If you look at this shape, it almost looked like a Super V on both sides. So I was almost going to turn the headlights sideways, and then, but I didn't. I then move it. I didn't feel like messing with it. So I want to get this done. By uh, what July, July fifth or so, I think's when the Lucas C's GTO group build is done. 
Then I'm also building this for uh, the Grandpa Mark's group build, Pontiac group build. So I'm going to have this done here soon. And this almost fits in without any glue in the front. Yeah, fit and finishes a lot better now than it was out of the kit. Yeah, they don't fall out. Nice and tight. Once it's glued in, that's going to be square. Nice. No gap. No gap anywhere. Hardly. A little bit of a gap maybe, but I'm not going to worry about it. So that's going to be coming along soon. And then uh, I think I, I don't recall if I, I was talking about it. The uh, Grandpa Mark's August group build. He's uh, playing in as a uh, Mopar group build. So I'm probably going to be getting the Country Charger for that one. And I th I'm thinking of doing a, a movie car out of it. I'm not going to say which one. There ain't too many movies with 69 Chargers. Well, there's probably quite a few, so... Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for with that movie, or that that build. And then I'm going to do, uh, looking forward to the, the USACC this year. And I know that video should be coming out soon. Who's going to be choosing that build, unless they change how they're doing it. But I'm, I'm keeping my ears open and eyes open for that. So we can uh, get planned in for, what, September is when that starts? Six or seven month build on that. Maybe it might be October. It starts September. I want to be able to get enough stuff together and, and have that uh, work on that and go that route. So, if you want to know anything, leave a comment below. If, if you know what the, the new, the next USA CC build is going to be, I've seen. One thing somewhere, I can't remember where it was, someone asking someone about a USACC petty build. I'm not sure if that was referring, because the comment was fairly recent. And it was a, a direct question to someone. Hey, I need to talk to you about the USACC petty build. And so we'll see. Maybe it's going to be a Richard Petty related build. So that'd be kind of cool. But I don't, I don't see that happening. I think it's going to be more car rather than NASCAR. There's too many, I think there's enough NASCAR builds. But who knows? We'll, we'll maybe all find out together here in a few weeks. Because so I would think that's coming. And with that, happy modeling. We'll see you next time.